On March 1st, the sound of Russian missile strike on a TV tower in Kiev could be heard over Ukraine's capital. Later, local police pulled the bodies from the tower, including the body of Yevgeny Sakun, a cameraman who worked for live TV. His body had a press pass in the pocket. He was involved in the news show crew of Live TV, together with the TV crews of other large newsrooms on national Ukrainian TV. His colleagues say that during military actions, journalists work mostly on a volunteer basis. Four of our main media groups have united and we are doing joint coverage of the whole of Ukraine. So the story of all journalists is not the story of particular editorial task anymore or particular channel. It's a story of working together in the media sphere in order to give viewers a clear image that reflects the facts. We don't yet know whether Sakun was working or was at the tower for another reason. Sakun's family has also been missing since the cameraman's death. Four other bodies were also found at the tower. It's not yet clear if the other victims were his colleagues, family or visitors. We had to get in touch with his relatives, but we can't reach anyone. And there is no one at apartment where he lived. But because of the ongoing war, many people had to evacuate, so there is hope his relatives and close ones are alive. The 49-year-old was a Kiev native. His colleagues say he was very sociable, kind and professional. For the National Union of Journalists of Ukraine, Sakun's death is a direct attack on freedom. This is an evident direct attack on the freedom of speech. The information about his death is a powerful message that creates fear and anxiety for all Ukrainian journalists. We all realize any one of us could have been in his place, any Ukrainian journalist. The Committee to Protect Journalists issued this statement. We are deeply saddened by the death of Ukrainian journalist Evgeny Sakun, who was killed in a reckless Russian attack on civilian infrastructure in Kyiv. All parties to the conflict must protect local and international journalists and stop targeting media facilities and equipment. Besides Sakun, the TV tower attack killed four others and wounded five. For Irina Matvichuk, NRI's VOA News.